Hey guys, how you doing? This is your instructor, Malcolm Airbrush Assassin McCray. I'm so, so excited to be able to share with you guys some new tips on how to create art, hip-hop art at home. Before we get into the art and the creativity, guys, watch this quick video about arts and education, while arts and education is important. Hey, how you guys doing? Um, this is Malcolm Airbrush Assassin McCray. You guys might know me. I uh, have uh, a couple different books. I'm a national uh, known speaker and also an artist. Um, but I'm coming to you guys uh, right now because it's important, especially in this day and age, for us to be able to have the conversation of why is arts education so important uh, nowadays, specifically for our young people. So I'm an artist. I've been a professional artist now for over 15 years of my life. I've always been an entrepreneur pretty much all of my life. So, but I've always been a creative individual. I was born and raised uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and my father was the first one to give me the opportunity to see how art has a tool to be able to change lives. I didn't know that I was an artist. I knew I was different, just like some of the young people that might be in your life. But through art and through creativity, gave me an outlet to be able to find myself. You know, some people paint pretty pictures and they use art just as a vessel to be able to create. But for me, it gave me a reason. It gave me a why. A reason to wake up every morning. Because I was homeless when I was 15 years old. I lost my mother when I was 12. And I was dealing with a lot of trials and tribulations in my life growing up. I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I didn't grow up poor, but I didn't grow up rich. I didn't grow up having the good things that some of the other kids that I went to school with did. And I remember feeling bullied. And I remember feeling different. But let me tell you something, art changed that. Not only did I have my father who was an art educator, but I remember the first time that I walked into a school and I felt like I could belong. And that was because that I had an art teacher that cared more than just enough. See, I'm the end result of art education working. I'm the end result of a young person who could have easily went the negative route or the positive route. And if it wasn't for creativity, if it wasn't for an art educator, if it wasn't for somebody who gave me a reason why to keep pushing, a reason why to keep living, a reason why to keep giving, I wouldn't be here. See, easily, I am supposed to be a statistic. A lot of my friends, a lot of my um, young homies that I used to kick it with growing up, a lot of my teenage uh, friends are incarcerated um, or dead. So for me, art education is not just about painting pretty pictures. It's not just about the end result of creating artwork or creating music or creating uh, a dance or doing theater. For me, art is a necessary tool because just like I was a young person who was lost, academically no one could grab me. But art grabbed me. An art educator grabbed me. Someone cared. So I'm here to be an advocate and to be proactive to be able to say that not only has art changed my life, but it has an opportunity to change your life or some young person in your life. So let's go ahead and band together and use art as a tool to keep educating and use art as a tool to keep inspiring the next generation. This is your artist, Malcolm, Airbrush, Assassin, McCray. And remember, my motto is to live, to create, to inspire. Art education is important. Save the arts. Save the arts. Wow, arts and education, right? We've always got to be able to make sure that we keep ourselves creatively educated, right? So let me go ahead and show you guys how to be able to take some graffiti, hip-hop lettering, mix it in with the scribble design and the scribble style that I showed you guys on last week's episode. So I'm going to show you guys how to be able to combine those together of graffiti bubbling with scribble outline. Check out this incredible video. All right, guys, so today we're going to do a graffiti bubble letter along with the scribbles so we're going to use have a pencil an eraser we got a little uh, purple marker we're going to use and we're going to show you guys how to do that all right we're going to start off first with just a pencil 
and we're gonna go ahead and do the outline. So let's do um, let's do Kim. All right. So K. Hi. Let's go ahead and do all of this cap below. So we got the K, I, the M. We're gonna go ahead and block in this K first. Remember I showed you guys the, the technique of how to be able to do graffiti or block letters or bubble letters. And then the I is gonna be scribble. And the M is gonna be scribble. So this is pretty much giving you your basic placement. Then we're gonna come on in. Got a marker. I'm gonna go ahead and darken up around the edges. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a drop shadow on the back end. And then with that Kim, I'm gonna show you guys how to do kind of like a bubble scribble. So you already got the scribble there. outline around the edges of the scribble. Okay, we got our outline. We're gonna go ahead and do a drop shadow on the back end of that. Give it a little bit of definition, 3D look. All right, guys. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is do a nice little outline around everything. We can even go ahead and throw some little bubble clouds around. Okay, so we're looking good. Let's go ahead and do some drips. Yeah, we can also go ahead and do a couple little hip hop stars. Okay. 
Okay. So, this is just giving you guys a basic way of being able to collaborate the scribble with your graffiti letters. Kind of gives it a different dimension. We're going to go ahead and shade it. Shading in these uh, drop shadows. It's the cool thing about graffiti lettering, you can kind of do it however you want to do it. Make up your own style. I'm going to do some little effects on the inside of it. A couple bubbles. Blocks, use some cubes. Little corners, squiggly lines. Come back again and do some shading on this drop shadow. Give it a, a little bit of dimension. Alright guys, I was able to do you show you guys how to do we got the graffiti bubble letters with the scribble outline kind of bubble scribble. We're gonna take our eraser and then you can just erase all of that pencil on the inside. Now if you wanted to come in and do a little bit more graphics, feel free to go ahead and do add some more graphics and some more designs into your lettering this is all just meant to kind of get you guys creatively started and then from there you guys can kind of go all right there we go Hey guys, we was able to go ahead and show you guys how to mix in the scribble with the graffiti bubble lettering. Pretty dope technique, right? So I want you to make sure that you go home and practice that. Take your time. It's going to be a lot of practice. Make sure you got the right tools that you need to do to be able to help create and take your creativity to the next level, right? I'm going to show you guys how I was able to use hip-hop graffiti lettering inside this project that I did for a technology company called Codify. Check this out.
So we got a pair of Timberland boots, or Timberland style boots. The word, the name that we're gonna put on here is Brooklyn, and the colors we're gonna use are pink, purple, blue. So the first base we're gonna put down is a white base, just so we're able to kind of get uh, the fundamentals of where the letters are gonna go. come through and uh, kind of darken it up with the white. The next step that I'm going to do is take my fluorescent pink and fade it directly over top of the white base. Okay now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some blue. I did the gradient fade at the bottom of the letters and then I'm gonna come in and do some nice detail work. So now I'm using my favorite color purple just to be able to make things stand out a little bit and give it a nice bold, clean look. All right, next, I got my opaque white ready to rock. I'm gonna go ahead and do an outline around the whole letters to give it a nice highlight and pop. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take my OPEC black, do a nice, beautiful, bold black outline around the whole letters. I even came back through, did a nice drop shadow just so the letters can be able to pop off the boot.
excited? Very excited. Excellent. Are you glad to meet these students? I am always glad when you come to support me. Excellent. Always. All right, so today we have a very, very special guest, actually a famous guest. Um, we just got really lucky, really blessed uh, from the Fine Arts Department down, mm -hmm. downtown, Ms. Beverly Fletcher. We had an opportunity to um, get this guest to be able to talk to you guys about his inspirational story. He came from a background where he was homeless, used to live in an abandoned, abandoned building, and through art, an inspiration through many people. You Google him, he's, he's the man. He's the man when it comes to art. He's also an author of books. And he's here just to tell you his story on how no matter what your circumstances are, you can do it. So without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to the airbrush assassin, Mr. Malcolm McRae. <laughs> How y'all doing? I said, how y'all doing? <laughs> hey, y'all crunk this morning. Okay, turn it up. All right. So before we get into it a little bit, we're going to just kind of take our time, let everybody get seated. What was that little chant y'all just did representing the school? What was that? I like it, that. Tell me how to do that. We gonna do that little, we gonna do that chant again. I like that. Y'all ready? What's your name? We gonna have Marcus represent. All right. I said all right. All right. All right, Marcus. You ready? Hold on. Do we gotta do the hands up? Do the hands up. Uh -huh. What does mean? Quiet. Focus. All right. Now come on. Hands up. Hands up. Let's represent. See, I come from up north. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I was geek when I seen y'all represented. Wedgwood. Oh, yes. 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 Give him a round of applause for coming up here and represent. I'm going to go ahead and give him a free t shirt. Here you go. This is for you, man. All right, y'all, tell me, come on, we did not get started. Hold on. Y'all want some free stuff? I tell you, y'all want some free stuff? Okay. So let me, let me explain to y'all. A lot of them, they're really excited to see someone who's actually doing it, succeeding, but also how he, he told his story from when he was a kid and he hustled then to now, and it's like he's not lazy. And that one of the kids, they also need to take ownership. And I think he is a great example of taking ownership of everything in his life and doing good, giving it back. Um, I think the kids became more engaged and enthralled and thought, I want to do this. Yeah. So for me, to have another ask, you know, another avenue of art that they can do would be be great. I think it really helped them get excited. I think so too. Yeah. Creativity, using my story together to inspire young people just like you. And my journey started off when I was a little younger than some of you guys. Thank you so much because you really inspired me and motivated me to do a lot more, especially with art. 